Lol, what? <laughs> what? Hi! This is really weird. It's Saturday. <laughs> I'm here. How are you doing? Oh boy. Right. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Welcome back to Chilling and Building. On a Saturday. It's weird. It is, it is weird. We're going to see how it goes, basically. Um, how are you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pancola, what's up? Alex, Adrian, they're saying offline. Yeah, sorry about that. I forgot to set it to the starting soon scene. Uh, Boise, what's up, man? Wesley, Spanish, could you make a line of vessels build to be a set, including scout SV, fighter SV, cargo vessel, and a war vessel? Yeah, it'll take five minutes. Yeah, go right out in five minutes, no problem. <laughs> How are you doing, Marcus? Hi, Spank. Love the videos. Well, thank you very much, Marcus. That was a short track, wasn't it? Wow. Why are you so loud? Let's take you down to, down to 50. 50% 50 there, Imperion soundtrack. I'm glad you like the videos, dude. Samuel, what's up? The man, the myth, the legend. How are you? I'm good, man. Bit tired. Bit tired. Been uh, very busy. In real life, real IRL busy, it's crazy. I know, what is that world, right? Slay an A over on Twitch, what's up, man? There he goes. <laughs> but as an end day. Edge, what's up? Jaguar. Happy Saturday to you too, sir. Can you please make an SV capable of carrying a smaller SV? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> we are actually going to do an SV today. I know I've done like nothing but SVs recently. We did a HV last time, and I still haven't textured it. It sat, it sat down there, still looking pretty sad and untextured and and stuff at the moment. I've just been, like I said, I've just been crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, uh, we got, we got quark cross streaming going on Twitch and YouTube. So if I'm reading out chats that you ain't seeing, that's probably why. Don't panic. It's all good. I'm actually here in a survival mode game today that I've just changed to creative mode. Because uh, last last time you guys were really helpful and pointed out that I could do that, and then I don't have to switch save games or anything. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna stay here. Um, what I wanted to build today was an SV capable of carrying a HV, possibly another SV, but I'm not sure what the benefit of an SV carrying an SV is. <laughs> I am so far behind on the patch notes. Of Imperion. I've been trying to keep up, but to be honest, I've just not, not been able to. We're, we're looking for a new house, basically, and that's just taken up so much time. As a lot of you probably realise that how much time that actually takes up. Those of you that have done the house moving, owning thing. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty intense. So, I have no idea, really, what they've been changing. I've been struggling to keep up. But there we are. Um... <laughs> um, what are the benefits of CVs docking with bases? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Just build a sweet base. <laughs> New house. <laughs> Nesting SV. Mattress. I tell you what, I quite like the idea of an SV and an SV that's where the smaller SV is an escape pod or something. I think that would be really cool. SV SV docking is real in Alpha 11 now. That's awesome. 
Right, me babber. Dewey Newey, what's up, dude? 3am for me. What? What are you doing at 3am? What are you chatting about? Wasp. Wasp. Oh my god, hang on. Let me try this again. Waspy McTavish. It's a great name. Evening Spanish. Not flooded out in Briz then. No, Brizzle's fine. Brizzle never floods, mate. Um, it's on a hill. It's basically Bristol is like that. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> all, the, all the water runs off into the Somerset levels. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, what is going on over here? We got um, Hopping Granger, dude. Thank you for the follow. Operator who? And for the 17 months. Oh, you absolute bloody legend. 17 months. What a hero. Rocking Troll, in for the seven months as well, man. That's awesome. And fluff in with the bits. Dude, thank you so much. You guys rock. All right, should we stop chatting them out and actually build something, maybe? Yeah. Um, so, an SV, SV that can carry a HV. I've had some ideas in my mind. And this is. I haven't done this for a while actually built with an idea in, in, in mind. <sighs> I don't know how this is going to go. Right, we're going plastic and we're going normal steel. We're going for glass. Yeah, we are going for glass, but it's not going to be armoured. Let's have some normal glass. SV stuff. Um, Mads Randers, dude, thank you for the follow as well. That's awesome. Um, Escal is also on, yes, yes. Escal, I think, is also building as well. I'd normally uh, try and avoid, but I'm trying out these Saturdays just because uh, personal reasons more than anything, um, unfortunately. What happened to Build Academy yeah. that you did as you find them as you find them useful? Yeah, I might do some more Build Academies because the game has changed enough now that a lot of the videos I did are kind of expired, really. They need, need updating, so I need to do more of them. If the CV is docked, SVs nor HVs can dock with the CV. Yeah, you can only have one thing docked to... You can't have the mothership dock to something if it's already got stuff docked to it. Yeah, I think I think that's what I, my understanding of it anyway. Um, can't say the same for Herefordshire. Yeah, man, the flooding's bad up north. Nathan, what's up, dude? Welcome along. Dashed in, what's up? Spongeroony. This update made my performance worse. Let's see. Let's get, let's let's whack an F8 on and see what's going on. That's F12. That's taking a screenshot. I'll process that later. <laughs> I'll put that in the dark room. 86 frames per second. But then I'm in a pretty empty world right now. Okay, so I'm going to use. No, no, I'm not going to use that one as my measuring stick. I'm going to use a slightly bigger HV as my measure measuring stick. Um, and we're gonna. We're going to build an SV that can carry a HV, a decent HV, uh, something like the Earth Mover, which isn't huge, but it's big enough, because I don't want it to be Stege. No, that's ridiculous. That's huge. Maybe the Archer. That would be a good one, wouldn't it? Archer, HV Assault Tank. I haven't even looked at this for a while. Let's use the Archer here, because she's quite awkward. She's an awkward little frog-like tank. Um, because what I was thinking, a lot of a lot, I've seen a few designs popping up in in various channels and stuff, where they're kind of just like a big box that the, you you drive that big sort of like hanger, an SV hanger. You drive the HV into it and you sort of lift it, and it looks a bit weird and stuff like that. I had an idea how to maybe change that, or a slightly different design that might work better. I'm not sure which CPU tier it's going to turn out to be. I'm just going to bloody build, and we'll see what happens. Um, and we'll worry about a CPU later because, quite frankly, I can't. I can't deal. <laughs> I can't deal with it right now. <laughs> it's just like eh, whatever. But they've, they, I know they've, they've messed with all the numbers again, haven't they? So uh, I, I don't know which way to go and what's and what. And blah, blah, blah. Do we want to make it warp capable? I think so. Well, we'll try to. We'll see. Generators, fuel tanks, us, yes, is maybe O2 fridges, normal little thrusters. Nah, screw it. Um, O2. Basically everything. I'm going to get everything. Let's see how much we can squeeze it in. Then we'll see what sort of tier it sits around. Don't really need a detector in there. Well, I'll keep them anyway. Fuck it. Um, ammo. Extensions. Shield. Probably not. Uh, cores. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. An SV. Big enough. Sexy enough. And strong enough to take an archer. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Um, we're going to need to come up a little bit. First of all, let's whack a bit of symmetry on. 
That'll do. Lovely jubbly. Is it going to work? I, I think we... Last time, I got it to turn off by putting on center of mass, but I think maybe that's... Not going to do that now, is it? <sighs> Shame. Shame. Whatever. Okay. Shame. Right. You. Big fat Nailed bitch. It. She's a heavy girl, isn't she? Right, so what I'm thinking is two two scoopy things. Scoopy things either side. Long enough. Noise. <laughs> Noise. Let's grab that. We're going to go three along. About that long. I reckon that's probably long enough. Yep. Okay. What's going on over on Twitch? Um, Sean, my, Sean, me, Sean, my. Thank you for the follow. Arxa, again for the follow, dude. Loose for the thirteen months. Awesome, you bloody hero. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, Puglo, what's up, dude? Doom Noodle, Jen. Hi, Jen. What's up, man? Uh, Dash, what I fit in T three is every equipment, four basic guns, and nine k cargo. Yeah, 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 I think. Well. In theory, I'd like to get it down to T2, really, if I can. If I can get it to T2, I can, that'll be better, but... Yeah, 13 months. <laughs> Dude, the Spanish going out of rendering distance did it for me a few weeks ago. Oh, crap. Actually, we did do that, didn't we? Rendering distance. Gone. Rendering distance. Back. Ah, oh, no, they fixed it. Oh. Why did they fix all the good stuff? <laughs> okay, we want... So, let me think... I need to make these a bit wider, don't I? I almost need to move the archer a little bit, I think, because um, I'm not quite sure where it's sat. If this thing is even going to move, that is, because it's... Oh, it's so punished. It's so punished. I don't even turn it. <laughs> I'll just turn off then. You're dead to me. Right. Fine, we'll have to figure it out from, from there. I think basically if we do if we reduce one more line and then put the other two the other side. Oops, eating into the uh, platform. Can you tell what it is yet? Eh? I'm just sort of chucking blocks down right now because I, I want to get the basic shape out and then um, I'm going to do a bit of curvy stuff later. Um, but that's basically the cage that the hover vessel is going to sit in. But it's actually going to dock against uh, a back wall here. So I'll put some like little plates on the back here and uh, some docking pads on the back of the archer as an example machine. Uh, now the archer in this case is an extreme example of what this thing's going to lift. Hopefully lift 157 tons dry weight. Uh, the cockpit for this thing is actually going to be sort of raised a bit. It's going to be somewhere around there. It's going to be the floor anyway. So it's the floor of the cockpit back there and then we'll have engines and stuff, gubbins either side rear entrance and all the lift engines will be along the side of these fenders or whatever you want to call them basically um, 
Hey Jada, what's up dude? Uh, Dark and Light, Marcus. What happened to Build Academy? Yeah, uh, we read that one already, haven't I? Uh, good day all, Spange. Um, yo, 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 Christopher Robinson, what's up dude? What are you building today? New hover tank? No, no, this is an SV that's going to lift the hover tank, hopefully. Or some smaller HVs as well. Maybe even a couple of HVs. Guessing I missed some in the stream. Well, we did start 15 minutes ago. I did start 15 minutes ago, but... Uh, um, you haven't missed much. You haven't missed much. It's fine. These sort of gaps, I might fill these gaps in with maybe some intermittent uh, truss blocks and stuff like that just to fill it in. But I want, ultimately, I want there to be what appeared to be sort of spacing and gaps in there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to fill that hole in because it's annoying me. <laughs> yeah, that's going to annoy me that it's the wrong color. <laughs> right. Uh, on the end here, I'm not decided yet, but I wonder if putting another sort of little... Uh, a sort of pod on the end here with with some sideways thrusters as well to give it some turn some turn torque because having all the side thrusters in one place as we learned from previous episodes we don't get much turn torque so that should be wide enough just about providing i can keep that relatively clear for the archer, it's definitely going to be wide enough for things like earth movers and other HVs and stuff. Like I said, the archer is an extreme case. Yeah, maybe. I think as long as I keep these these side areas sort of clear for its hips to fit into, it should fit in there fine. So, all right, now the fun begins. So let's attach some thrusters. I'm not sure how many. Oh, Elion. <clears throat> not sure how many thrusters I'm going to need. I'm just going to chuck a bunch on and see what happens. Every time. Every time. Every time. All right. So we're going to have the small ones. So probably going to need quite a few to lift 174 tons. Let's start with a group of four there and another group of four about here. Yeah, let's see how 16 do. We'll see how 16 do. Uh, let's get some big, big boy jets. Some large. A couple of large. Nah, mediums. Mediums will do. Mediums, mediums, mediums. Where are you? There you are. Let's get the nice ones. The jet two mediums. Yeah, I like those ones much nicer so the mediums I'm gonna go up there they're gonna be a forward thrust basically is that right no I want to mean a bit a bit more than that about there yeah I reckon some mediums there will be good. So the cockpit area and stuff is probably going to come back. Oops. We come back a fair old way to around about there ish. So I might step that in a bit. I'm level 8 <laughs> yay um, cool now downward thrust this is why I don't know I'm maybe having a little engine pod on the end here might be a good idea because I think downward thrust also affects your sort of pitch and stuff like that um, 
or roll. Um, Spanish, do you really want to use steel for the SV structure for weight? I mean, it's a good point. Yeah, I could use plastic. Might be better. Um, I don't know, considering its size and stuff like that. I always thought a steel construction would be more appropriate. Carbon substrate, there's nothing wrong with it. What is the difference? Weight, eight kilos, or three kilos, yeah. It's gonna stack up a bit, isn't it? Let's see, let's put our two unit cockpit in up here. To lift 200 tons on a 1G planet, you'll need 1,962 kilonewtons of thrust. Damn, Dragonus. So just six jet thrusters only. Tried to make a CV yesterday, but couldn't get it to move. <laughs> the, the pitch roll in your is broken until Monday. Oh, Jesus. Um, I've noticed that pitch and roll are affected to where thrusters are pushing from. Yeah, damn. Better with plastic than making an outcasing of steel and steel blocks. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Right. Let's think. Uh, before I put anything else in, then, I think I've got a basic shape here. I just don't want to overcomplicate it too much right now. So. Before we put generators and stuff in there, I want to at least know roughly what my <clears throat> outer shape is going to be. Is that already three blocks? That's two blocks, isn't it? is actually um, no I don't think this is gonna work if I start sloping this down it work in that direction but it won't work in that direction There's no block to join, uh, to transition that shape. It's just, yeah. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> God damn. Damn you, William. There's no block for it yet. More blocks, please. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, second row, first block. Which tab? 
Not that one. 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 Definitely not that one. But not that one. <laughs> yeah. No happening. Uh, just go to statistics. It tells you how much you can lift now. <laughs> Does it tell you, actually tell you how much you can lift now? We used to do that, did it? Oh shit, yeah, look at this! Yeah, 397 tons. Ah! Nice! This is useful information. Love it. Overview detail. Oh! <laughs> cool! Actually, something useful. Bloody hell. I am gobsmacked. Flip it. Like that. Oh yeah, that does that bit, but... Uh, then you, you got a weird, weird cornery bit. It's fine. I mean, no problem. I might just take them off and just leave a sort of hover vessel ramp anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, what I was going to do... Uh, around these engines as well to give them a bit of thrust protection is be able to kind of oh, I was going to see if about using the wing, wing blocks actually uh, let's put these back modular wing blocks we had a bit of fun with them before um, there's ones with actual yeah like flaps on them and stuff. I'm not sure how much these weigh though. They weigh a fair bit though. They're 98 ki 95 kilos for decoration, basically. Nothing more. Because the other option is we just we get um, a couple of cylinders here. And we run some half blocks over it. Let me do some stuff with the half blocks. And you could do things like you can uh, stick little uh, vents or windows in there so that you can see a bit of the thruster maybe, or we, we eat into it, uh, take it from half block to thin blocks, that sort of thing. But that's kind of, it's fluff, it's detail, we don't really need to do it yet. He says as he continues to place blocks. <laughs> fluffy, fluffy blocks. Give me them fluffy blocks. Elion, could we have fluffy blocks, please? I feel like they would be used. <laughs> J Randall will be all over it. <laughs> fluffy blocks. Yeah, you can see how we get on with that, right? What I wanted to do here was kind of the same sort of th or similar sort of thing. Let me get two cylinders, and we have to we have to use the full blocks here, unfortunately, because we're going to be docking against these. Um, we want them to be the whole biggest blockers, decent area. It's going to be a fairly industrial kind of looking ship, I think. That's where the docking pads are going to go. I might need to make that taller. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see. All right, we're going to need some rear thrust here, and I think. Wow. Not quite sure where to put. We've got obviously the mediums to forward. We're up to uh, 
We're up to tier two, that's fine. We've still got a little way a little more to play with. Uh technical blocks for alien structures, hell yeah. <laughs> hey, we're speaking Tarish. Um Mad Dragon, what's up, dude? In the immortal words of the great wise by Angelion, please fix. <laughs> um Hey Spanish, the weather is shafting my internet connection. Something chronic tonight. Going to have to bow out of the stream for now. Uh, catch you maybe later. Looking forward to the results. Good luck. Thank you very much. Waspy McTarish. Good luck with the weather, sir. I hope it turns out all right. Um, it tells you how much you can lift in current gravity. That's good, though. That's good, though. Jeff wouldn't be the only one. <laughs> Doom likes fluff. Hell yeah, Doom. You know you like the fluff. There is one concrete texture that looks like fluffy blocks, yeah. It's like carpet texture, isn't it? Looks very good. Steel is more durable, yeah. Steel is more durable. You're right, but this isn't going to be a combat ship at all. Um, hopefully. <laughs> if I can keep it out of combat, of course. Right. So, cockpit's a bit weird. I wanted a kind of... Easy. Uh, you wanted a kind of. I'll get the words out in a minute. Hang on, bear with. I'm just using dial up in my brain at the moment. It's just taking a while longer than expected. <laughs> oh god, what did I want? I don't even know anymore. I wanted a cockpit that looks. That has a, a lot of vision, a lot of visual thing, a lot of visual thing, thing, thing with sight, thing, words. <sighs> Struggling. <laughs> Struggling. Been out in a cold all day. My nose is running. Right. That's all right, I wanted it kind of here. So let's bring this forward a bit. Let's have the glass up from here. Uh, rounded. No, nope, that one. I don't know if I can transition curved glass into the angle that I want it to. I don't think it can. I, again, I don't think there's a a block for it. Which may just mean I need to change my shaping. What? Because <laughs> I might need to actually, rather than using these curvy ones, just stick with sort of more basic shapes. Ah, damn. Which way up is that? See, that might work quite well from the bottom sort of position but then again uh, we could use the sponge block the sponge glass block the glass sponge block that could be cool 
Let's do it. Let's run with it. Let's embrace it. Let's embrace the majesty <laughs> of the Spanish glass. And it is majestic. <laughs> it's hella majestic. It's now a TIE fighter cockpit, however. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> uh, glass. Ever thought of building an SV Nagana as a twin hull hauler for HVs? God damn, that's a big SV. <laughs> Does this work? Does it work? I don't, I don't even know. I think I figure if I build a little bit of glass out there and then I build the rest with hull blocks, uh, it might just work. Possibly. Oh, we're going back to steel. Oops. No, don't get it. It falls forward. <laughs> we had that last time. <laughs> Don't get it. <laughs> All right, we're definitely going to need to actually add some reverse thrust in this thing before it before too long. I don't want to reverse thrust into the thing that's docked though. Um, so I might need to put above. Might look a bit funny. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, I think I think having engine pods at the front here is probably going to be the best call, isn't it? I think putting them there is just going to be weird. Stop it. Okay. Right, let's do... Let's take this off. A second... Shove them there. We wanted what well, we got three. I think only like two will do back here. Two. That should give us some turn talk, at least, anyway. We could do one above the other, maybe. I don't, nah, I'll keep them on top, it'd be fine. And now we need some kind of enclosure around this that sort of blends in with everything else. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to make this look even slightly serious, honestly. Um, could be a bit of a struggle. Honestly. Hmm. So we've got these blocks here that we may be able to use. It's a CV. <laughs> I don't know. Spongy, keep coming up with 
CVs and SVs and tanks, miners, and I'll have to come out of retirement as a base builder. <laughs> a base? Uh, yeah, we'll do a base. We'll do a base. We'll do a base soon. At the moment, I've, I've in my, I'm trying to figure out a progression because uh, obviously we did a we did a bit of SV. Uh, God damn it, light SVs, scout SVs. We did a bit of. Um, no, it's that one. We did a lot of SVs, basically. We did a uh, little light scout equivalent of Sparky. But Sparky, yeah, we can easily modify Sparky down to back to tier 1. We did, we can't easily modify the Earth Mover down to tier 1. So we got a tier 2 Hover Miner. So the Nightshade is fine. That's tier 2 SV. Um, we haven't really, I haven't got as far as... CVs and bases and stuff, yeah, basically. So we'll get there, we'll get there. I just also, I wanted to uh, build something for this new HV to SV kind of stuff. That's um, kind of cool. Opens up a lot of possibilities. I don't think that's going to... Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, it does. Sweet. But then we're buggered. <laughs> then we're buggered. Yeah. Ah ha ha ha. Um, is there a half block for that? Bloody is as well, but it's on the wrong side. Yeah. Damn. They're all on the wrong side. Yeah. Nightmare. Because it's like a, it's a two by two, so I've got to use these damn thin blocks. Otherwise, I'm, I've just covered the entire thing up. I don't want to cover the entire thing up. It's uh, it's such a cool model for a thruster, but at the same time, I need something that's kind of stable. It's going to hold weight or appear to. And you find the blocks. Spanish built Morkin Project Eden. Yeah, Doom Noodle Ship. Uh, Spanish, I don't think adding detail is the first thing you do. You should start by finishing the frame. Ah, do I want? I shall build how I shall build, sir. Um, if I'm in a sort of bit of a flow. Um, then I want to kind of embrace the flow before moving on to something else. If I then get stuck in said flow, then yeah, I'll move on to something else. But I know what you mean. Yes, technically I should. 
But right now, I am happy. Uh, kind of need like one of these, one of these sort of, one of these funny shapes, like this one. This one might work quite well. Might work quite well. That one is just weird. It's a weird shape. It's like um, one of these funky ones. That one, but not that one. It's like that one, but not that one. More like that one. And then that doesn't match. That doesn't match, but that might match. That sort of matches a bit better. Yeah. It's a funny old shape. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong. Right, let's give it you. You don't fit, but you do. We're just going to leave you as is. We'll just put shiny textures in there or something. The block doesn't fit. Texture around it. It'll be fine. In fact, to be honest, I might just embrace that and have it as a feature. Just have a, a literally leading up to flat surface. What we do is easy. Yeah, we just literally have a half block now. Yeah, it's flat. Embrace it. This is a problem though. How do we do with that? How do you do that? I don't see it. There is a block. There is a block that I can think of. I've seen it before. I cannot see it right now. There. Nope. It's the wrong side. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> it was <wine>. Mother. <clears throat> do, do, do. It's all good.
<clears throat> I don't know. It's a really, 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 really tricky sort of transition. Hmm. It's like, yeah, it's because it's a 2 by 2 I could just cover it straight back up again. Or I... I don't know, I, instead of curving it back down again, I just keep that going round. Hmm. But then I still be in the some same problem. Yeah. Have you heard any more on the release of Dual Universe and is Satisfactory still coming back? There is trains and nuclear power now. I'd like I'd love to do a series on Satisfactory, it really would. Um Yeah. I hope so. I hope Satisfactory comes back. I really want to play that again. Um, let's think about I'm just putting that there as a sort of marker, really, more than anything else, of where I want that to be, what sort of detail I want to be around there. The sort of height that I'm going to need in order to achieve that. So it covers up this bottom thruster quite well. Which is gonna be fairly well buried really in the in the depths of it really, aren't it? It's not gonna come out very far. Honestly, I'm tempted to almost create a little bit of a what appears to be a gap between every sort of major segment of this ship in some way if possible. Satisfactory left. <clears throat> Crazy! <laughs> What's up, dude? Stop! <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean, what am I doing there? Crazy. It's almost seaworthy. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to need another engine, but I've got plenty of space. Um, and I've got. What are we at? 12,000 CPU. It's going to be tier 3. It's going to be tier 3 at least, isn't it? But that's fine. Tier 3 HV carrier. I'm happy with that. There was no way this was going to be tier 2. <laughs> In reality, was there? Um, fine. See, right. Behind these... Um, these bumpers, basically... Uh, what I want is a heavy looking steel framed cylinder. So we've got a cross section there, haven't we? Hang on a second. Cross section there, there, there. 
there. Or do we want it a section higher than that? No, 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 that's fine. Okay. It's not very cylindery, is it? I'm not sure if I can do that better, though. Um, I want it to look like a cylinder. Your satire build, I think, though. What? Oh. <laughs> Looks uh, looks fine so far. I'll be patient with you. <laughs> uh, okay. Maybe I can do it with the. I could do it better with these ones, possibly. Let's see. Let's see what we can achieve. Stop it. Now this is going to be annoying because these are half blocks. They're going to take up the space of an entire block, but that might get me my disconnected cylinder look that I wanted. Make it look like they really can take an impact. I think that looks a little bit more rounded than the square thingy that I had going on there. But the problem I have now is that that's a lot of bloody blocks <laughs> to place down. But I can bring that back to about there on both sides. In fairness, I could cheek it and just keep this hollow. Apart from the corner blocks there. There's no reason for that to be filled at the moment at all. embedded into the superstructure I'm gonna have to build around these now um, can I build a block there no that's fine should be able to build a block the one above though yep so we can even do let's do that one let's do that one I don't know if I want to take it this high because it looks like such a huge gap between that curving over <laughs> and the top of this. But there's, uh, there's not even a, there's not even a block gap between it though. It really isn't. So we might need to be a bit cheeky. Try and use. Half blocks. <clears throat> it's not going to give us much room there at all, is it? So, uh, but, 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 but.
that's basically where the ship starts and we can actually have a weird cockpit really weird cockpit uh, section that's sort of almost floating above that so there's like a big gap there and all these like push cylinders here and then the rest of the ship back here <laughs> this is gonna be weird but it might work it might work I don't know it might just be weird enough I need a block I'm not gonna get away with it I need a block there I can uh, at least use like that that pyramid again Sponge block it. Uh, but where's my sponge block gone? There he is. Kicking butt. Yes. Excellent. Where's 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 Yep, weird ass looking ship. I'm missing a block. There we go. Okay. What we need is we need. Uh, we now need to come down so that we can get into the, the pilot seat. I don't know whether we're going to put uh, passenger seats in here yet either. I haven't decided. Might do. Might be a very good idea to have passenger seats in here. Because, you know, I can move this forward as well. It doesn't need to be that far back. Uh, let's get rid of these wings. I'm not going to use those, I don't think. Let's put you... Let's put you there. I think block there I think that's fine that puts us stoke don't get inside it god damn it what when will I learn I'll never learn I shall never learn right now I want I need to use half blocks here because I don't want the, the roof to be super high uh, which also means I'm gonna be using half blocks which means it's limited what you can then do with the roof um, blah, 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 blah. Where, where, where? There. Where, where, where? Which means my head is going to be headbutting that. Is that, that going to work? Should be okay to. Where would it be okay to go another block higher? One way to find out. We need Her Majesty. I don't think that's going to work. Literally, my head is going to be in the block. <laughs> mm. Could do um, what I did in the cargo frog. And flippy old blocky over. And put some glass in the roof. 
Actually, we put it a whole block higher as well. Like that. <sighs> Even that's too... Because it's not armoured glass. Even that's too beefy, isn't it? See these like whole blocks here? I wish there were thin versions of these. There isn't. You've got that angle and that's it. At least they're giving you like a, a, a thicker that angle, but yeah, I would like thin. Look, Spanish. No sitting, floating only. Yeah, I mean, the other option as well is that I just lower that cockpit one because it's like, it's quite high at the moment. I could just like bang, 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 bang. And I've got this space here. So, I'll just plop it there. Or, there. There. With that, I don't know why I put steel there, but it's steel now. I'm not going to change it. You're just going to have to deal with it. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> naughty word. Fad said a naughty word. It's fine, it's a naughty English word, and uh, YouTube's American algorithm has no idea what I'm talking about. It just assumes gobbledygook. So it's fine for me. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. <laughs> YouTube algorithm's just going, ah, quirky English noises. Excellent. Promote. <laughs> Check out this crazy English guy making funny noises. <laughs> like, subscribe. And yeah, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna do something funky here as well. Funky, funky, funky. Whether it'll work or not, we will see. So we need to bring this down a bit. I'm going to bring it down that far, and then our floor is going to be here. We're going to have a bit of space to walk around in, but not a lot. Not a lot. In this funky space here, I'm going to fill it with glass. Glassy, glassy, glass, glass. You know, we're walking down on glass. I'm going to double layer it though, because I'm weird. Eh. <laughs> She's such a weird boat. <laughs> She's already a weird boat. <laughs> She's going to get weirder. Weird boat alert. I'm so glad, you know, for all the, the crap that I give Elyon, that they fixed the symmetry of these half shapes. Look at that! That never used to happen. That's a thing of beauty now. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful it is. Oh dear. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make the sides work with what I've done here. Maybe able to. Possible. Uh, it looks cool, Spanish. Keep going and don't delete it, please. <laughs> Are you playing creating mode? Yes, Alan B, dude, welcome along as well. How does one start playing in creative mode? Well, you go new game and then select creative mode and, and go start. Um, you can also start a normal survival game and then in the console type CM and it's CM is change mode and it will change the game to survival mode. Um, 
but you can probably see me do it up here. Yeah, there you go. CM switch to creative. This was a survival game. There are POIs here and stuff. If I do CM again, it'll switch it back to create uh, survival. Um, the good thing about doing this is this is a survival game with weights and volumes enabled. And so, if I want to test this in a weights and volumes environment, all I need to do is hit CM again. And it is back. I'm not sure, as always, um, how to finish the, the backside. We need three block height, head height, in order to stand in this in this room here. So three blocks is literally back up here, which means we need to bring this back here. That's how high the back of the ship needs to be. Now then, if our ship is going to sit on the floor there, we can take this out so we can get an, a gauge of actually plonk plonk thank you how high off the ground that floor is it's not overly high off the ground i think a ramp will do it let's get a ramp longest ramp available please sir that's good what's the next available one that's better. That's actually better. That's what we can do. Um, as we can run this down. Thing. Go. I don't know why I did it that way. It was really weird. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Oh, I hate this. Right, fine. So annoying. There we go. Ramp to the floor. Now, uh, that might be. Actually, that's going to be fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a landing glare. glare. I will stick a landing glare um, on this side here where we've got this one block space gap. And then that will be able to dock to something using that rather than putting docking pads on the sleds. The skids. The skid sleds. The skid slits. The skiddy skids. I'm going to shape this a little bit. It's going to be interesting to build a wall around this, but I'll try. Should be fine. Uh, let's get a door. Let's measure it. Hello, God mode is off. And God mode back on. Gonna have to be one. I wish they'd give us more doors. I know they're giving us more stuff slowly, but more doors, please, Elion. Your job is never done. What? Where are you going? What are you doing over there? Stop mucking me about. You git. All right. And then we can do the same for this one as well. I should bring this out a little bit. What? <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a weird ship. Damn Jen getting your mod on. Hell yeah, what did he say? I didn't even see it. Oh, I don't know what I wanna know. Who cares? Thank you, Jen. <laughs> don't ask <laughs> Why not? Um, make it big sponge because you know we all like big butts hell yes the jag hazard is on the ball um, damn I knew I was going to forget the day change uh, he said I was doom you are not bad at texturing my friend you are not bad at texturing yeah no he, or Al that, that guy got banned from um, my Discord for basically trashing people's builds, so uh, ignore. Ignore the bastard. Uh, 
Uh, right. I don't know what to do. <laughs> stuck. Stuck, 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 stuck. Okay. Um, help, help me. I need some, some, some kind of thing going on here. That's coming out. That's, that's going the same way. Um, it would be nice to have a little bit of, because this comes, yeah, hang on. <clears throat> I'll be returning to normal English words soon. Until then, enjoy this music. What? What? What is what is that? What is rubbish? Poop. Poop. More shapes, Elion. I know, but what? What do I? What do I? What? Nothing goes there. What's that one? It's not that one. Well, it'll have to be, I suppose, won't it? We'll have to have a bit of a. Eh, it just won't. It won't. Just won't join up. But it's fine. It doesn't need to. It's just ugly, I guess. Yeah, anyway, that can go. That can go along there a bit. Um. This bit sticking out. The reason I'm leaving this here and not just taking that away and finish that off because I want actually something <laughs> feature-like going on there. Just not sure what. Just not sure what. What? 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 Uh, what? 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 Oh, idea idea they do happen every now and again they do happen why not take you out stars oh it's just not going to join out is it let's take you out a second sorry i said i was going to leave that in for a second but i lied um you're not the right block A bit of space down there to walk around and stuff. I, th I think, I think I'll have enough. It's only a one-block gap, but obviously the floor will extend to here as well. So we've got all that room to play with. I can obviously shape that a bit better. It transitions a little bit. So that, that's fine, we can deal with that. And then in the back here, I'm thinking in some kind of glass feature. That wasn't already obvious. What are we up to? No core present. Yeah, about the old core now, can we? We'll make sure this is included. Let's just uh, let's stick it. Let's stick it there for now. Does that put two cores in? <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Nope. That'd be funny. I think it was like I've seen some glitches in on Discord or something of uh, two warp drives. We're up to thirteen thousand. We're fine. We're still not. We're still not here too yet. Still adding blocks, of course. Not generators and stuff yet, but...
That's a bit weird. Why would you have glass at the back of an SV? I'll think of a reason. <laughs> I'll find a reason one day. Don't worry. If you're worried it's, a gimmick, it's, a, it's just a gimmick, then uh, yeah, you're absolutely right for now. <laughs> this is just a gimmick. But it won't be for long, because I'll find a reason for it. Crazy, I need your help. Why would I have glass at the back of my SV? You're the master of luxury. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> um, Jay Bear, hi Span, my first time watching. You live at long. What? You live at long last. Hell yes! I'm like, I live at long. Because swag. <laughs> um, Alex, oh no, Span will soon. Call a walk. <laughs> we are going to have to put some dacker on here, in fairness. Uh, let's manage glass block again. Ooh. The man has a point. The man has a very good point. The man has a point that I, I immediately need to put into action. Um, so, Dark and Light, thank you very much for reminding me of this absolute beaut of a block. Yes. It's a luxury liner now, baby. Uh, you could even make the fake rear gunner seats. Now there's an idea. That's quite a cool idea. I like that. Fake rear gunner seats. What was the question, Smash? Crazy! Why would I have glass windows on the rear of my SV? You're the you're the king of luxury ships. You're the undefeated champion of luxury ships. So explain to me why why have I put glass on the back of my ship? Where the fuck did that go? <laughs> I just put a door somewhere. Door. Where did you go? Uh, there you are. <laughs> what? How did it go there? I don't know. Door went somewhere. Why not? It's stylish. I mean, I was I was looking for a little bit more creativity from you there, crazy. If I'm honest, I, mean, I don't want to pressure you or anything. <laughs> Loose says, Spanish will do the I will make it le legal move for explaining the glass in the back. Hell yeah, I will make it legal. Excellent Star Wars reference there, Loose. Thank you very much, sir. Good move. I will make it legal. Do I do I want that to be a thin block? Oh, but they are just so ugly, aren't they? Oh. Yeah. Son of a hideous. Absolutely hideous. <clears throat> Such a shame. What am I doing? 
doing. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, the thing is, it's like, do you sacrifice internal or external looks with that? I mean, it's like, oh, God, damn it. I'm going to have to have another one on top as well, though. That's the thing. Another one there. Um, oh, sorry, one way around. There. Such a shame that that has that weird. Oh, look at it. Yeah. <laughs> there's a thin, I know there's a thin block, but it just like it pokes out like so stupid. I love windows in the back if I'm doing more bigger yacht type SVs. There you go, see. <laughs> Uh, G'day Spanish, long time listener, first time caller, <laughs> Sly Fez, what's up dude? Put your passenger seats there, whoever sits in them can help you back up. There you go, see? We're coming up with creative solutions as a team. This is what chilling and building's all about. The reverse parking helper bay type thing images. I like it. It's beautiful. <laughs> just just to screw myself over <laughs> yeah that's what I do <laughs> mm. I can't all have I can't just use that one sort of type of um, corner you know I got I got have different types of corner and then I screw myself by using different types of corners because they don't have the blocks so that you could use the different types of corners. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then I've got to use weird blocks. Weird blocks like these ones. Um, which are. There you go. Alright, let's see if we can figure this this engine section out in a second because um, <clears throat> what we also have to do is get these these skids that are going to be taking a lot of weight realistically uh, to come back far enough to look like they're actually properly attached uh, but then obviously bend into the hull quite nicely.
doesn't work, does it? Because I need that. I need that to come back here. Ah, so many blocks. Yeah. Thin block breaks out, yeah. Uh, more blocks, the higher the CPU you're doing to push the ship into T4 if you are not careful, Spanji. Yeah, I realize that. I don't know why. We're at 13,000 at the moment, I haven't put any generators or anything in yet. So, or guns or anything like that. We do need to be careful. Um. Uh, this whole thing I put up here I might just take out and use a much thinner version of it so that we can reduce the block size of this entire sort of section here. I might just um, kind of do a sort of thing that I did with the nightshade really make these jet engines look like they're just strapped in on the top kind of thing with a few bars of reinforced something or other. It's just how to join How to join the skids here in the best possible way to a 2x2 two two engine. <laughs> God damn it. How do I refill my personal oxygen tank? You've probably got um, small O2 tanks in your inventory. They look like little three milk bottles. Um, you just shift, hold shift and right click on them. I think, is that what you use? I've forgotten, it's been so long. How do I, how do I, I just do it. It's like it's muscle memory now. I can't even remember. Oh. Yeah, hold shift, right click. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah, like I said, muscle memory. I can't even remember how to do it. It's remarkable.
How do I get that into... I know what I want to turn it into, I'm just not sure how to turn it into that. Into that. Wait, 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 that looks like... That looks like this one. Or that one. That one. Nice! Thank you, Elion. You added some blocks. Still not happy with that. I'm still not sure. I don't know what to do with it though. Or whether to bring this down, maybe. I don't know. It's it's really difficult. Pulling these shapes at my ass. Um Have I just lost a day? T four, not quite. Still not T two yet. We are still pre generators and stuff though. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. I'm gonna start with four and see how many we we can um do from there. I'm gonna add the generators into these cavities that I created in here. So, four generators. Haven't any RCSs yet either, or any equipment. Fuel tanks. <laughs> it would be a really good place to put fuel tanks as well, but I suspect fuel tanks would probably be a little bit better dotted around all over the shop. Add some here. I'm gonna stick with that for now, and that brings us up to just over fifteen thousand. No guns yet, so it will be tier three. That's fine. We can deal with that. I'm just not sure how to kind of yet how to blend these engines in really with everything. Might move these jets back. got a block here this one which we could possibly use I thought we had oh, we do yeah there they are. Strap them in like that. We could even do um little runoffs if we want.
Weird ship. Weird ship. <laughs> Weird ass boat. We can do the same thing. We can use. Well, we can use these. this in quite yet still figuring that bit out <coughs> yeah I don't know <laughs> hmm. Maybe, maybe a better idea. I don't actually know. This might be a much, much worse idea. These thrusters are around the wrong way. There we go. <sighs> yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, damn it. Got no thin, like one of that, but really, really thin. Like I want a half of this one. I want a half of that. Do I have half of that? <laughs> oh dear. Ammonia two piece. What's up, dude? Welcome along. Uh, why I don't like CPU in a nutshell. You need to hold back on the shaping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yes, you do. That looks cool. Make it look like the engines can be upgraded. It reminds me of a Cylon Raider. Actually, MD318, you're onto something there. It does look a little bit Cylon-y, doesn't it? Starting to resemble a hover tank you uh, had built a while back, Spange. Christopher Robinson, I think you might be referring to the Crusader, my friend. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. Yeah, uh, thin, thin quarter round. Thin quarter round. What, one of these? Uh, no, I might be able to just use these ones instead. Um, kind of like that, I suppose, maybe, but... but then it kind of needs like something to, to latch on onto that side. But there ain't nothing there. There ain't nothing there yet. But I can add something there.
<laughs> kind of a weird engine pod, isn't it? It's not. I'm not sure if it entirely works. Um, I think the the bottom bit here is is too thin, um, and I might need to bring this across. Watch out, MS Titans back, boys. Standing by. Oh, thank you. That was quick. Maybe add some more um, fluffiness, fluffy stuffy stuff later. Let me hear in the chat. Let me hear in the chat. Come on. You know what to say. Let me hear you say. Pipe Pipes. <laughs> Crazy's in there. <laughs> I wish there was like, I could just lay these ones, but um, individually, you know. <laughs> Any intel on how the whole aerodynamic lifting thing works? Just surface area versus weight? Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, pretty much. You want aerodynamics. It's got to be kind of aerodynamic. Um, a large surface area underneath it. And then you can have a ship that works perfectly fine with just forward thrust. That works pretty well, actually. That thing. It's not a bad little strike fire. Playing around with it the other day with um, Cougar and yeah, blew some stuff up. Worked pretty well. Oh, you bitch. Yeah, not a bitch. Too much? Yeah, I don't know. That'll work. Hmm. Not at all. Uh, I heard CV to CV is coming with Alpha 11. Do you know if that's true? Um, should we find out? I don't know if I've got it in the experimental yet or whether it's in the closed alpha one. So oh, um, Xcow is playing around with it. <clears throat> Let's get a STO3. Plonk. Let's get an STO2. Plonk. Let's park. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that work. Where's my landing gears? Plunk. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> don't look, children. Don't look. <laughs> not for, not for your eyes. <laughs> Mummy, what's the STO3? There's the STO3. Super lift. Uh, no, it doesn't work. <clears throat> but then that's because the STO3 has not been upgraded with core extensions yet. We did muck around with it for a bit, but then I got annoyed with it and had a tantrum. 
<laughs> Let's give it some tier four extensionizers, extenderizers, tenders, tenderizers. Two, three, four. Now will you work, please? Oh, go on, behave. Why not? I've got super lift on. What's your What's your beef? What's your beef? Your two million CPU. Is it too heavy? Your lifting capacity is 92.9 kilotons. Wait, is that right? Lift, 58.8 tons. Yeah. Whoa! Apparently I wasn't pressing the button right. Maybe I wasn't pressing it right, but there we go. the super loafer super loafer don't talk to me about super lifter I don't want to talk about the super lifter it's still raw but there you go the STO3 can lift and shift the STO2 that's pretty cool yeah yeah, yeah. I saw x playing around with the other day he had a little micro miner on top of his CV it looked pretty awesome so now and this is another idea that I have for another chilling and building <clears throat> but I'm gonna build um, I'm going to build a cargo CV that has no cargo in it. And what it will do is it will have little docking cranes or something somewhere. I've got the idea in my head, but I don't want to give too much away. Um, where you dock these little CV cargo pods that are just tier two CVs that have a 320 uh, SU storage container. Some thrusters enough to maneuver it. And dock, a dock into this mothership CV that's got warp drive and and thrust and things like that, and then the whole thing just stays in space, and then you just drop the little cargo pods down. I think that would look really cool. Um, the span of the super lifter shall never die. Yes, this is super lifter BA. <laughs> Sit right next to my Goliath in screw CPU town. <laughs> Doom. Um, hang on, I got a, what's this? Turret med bay, can you lift for, <laughs> good. Uh, you don't take a CV to raid a POI, you take a HV and SV. Well, this is why I'm building a, a HV lifting SV really, um, for that sort of ability to, to do that basically. Where's my bar locks? I'm putting some steel over these fuel tanks just for a, sort of a, little, a little extra protection. A little bit of extra protection. And then I'm. Um, and then I screw myself again with these bloody funny shapes. Who keeps putting these bloody funny shapes everywhere? Did I have the right one in the first place? I didn't, didn't I? I just needed to. Um... No, I didn't. Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. That's not even the right thing. It's that one. There you go. Oh, God, that's just not right either. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. I have lost my mind. It is not to work no more. Not that one either. What is going on in Spanger's mind is screwed. It's this one, isn't it? I'm not being... Am I being completely cray-cray? Is that what? I swear there's a block for that, but I'm... I, uh... I'm not sure no more. Not that one. I knew it wasn't that one. Um, always place down the easy block first. Well, yeah, that's what I just did. I thought I thought it was that one. But it hasn't 
It isn't that one either. Oh well, in places like this, you just literally, I just throw the meta out the window and just go, ha, some rounded blocks, screw you. Yeah, we're going to do that. What are you going to do now, eh? What are you going to do? Yeah, you can't do anything, can you? I've literally just taken your whole shape and just gone, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, you bitch. Take it. I will run with the goddamn... Okay, I'll remove that one, but only because... I want to put this one there. And do something else entirely. Um, you're such a rebel, Spanish language. Sorry, Doom. Language. Spanish said naughty words again. Um, frags a lot, what's up, dude? RCS is what? RCS is broken. Oh, I haven't even started messing with that. I hear there's like loads of stuff broken at the moment. There's a slope to round for that, Spanish. There is. You're absolutely right. I know. I could transition the slope, but I could also just texture around it. I could just texture around it. Um, let's continue that. Stop it. Let's continue that shape that I've already got going on there. Now I'm looking for the triangle bit. That one. There we go. Yeah, I've got this awkward bit here, I know what's going on here. Let's, um, let's do something with that. <clears throat> uh, what the bloody hell am I doing now? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Spanj is slowly losing his mind. The blocks are taking over. Yeah, okay, that was fine. That's cool. That looks a bit more stable. The blocks. They're taking over. It's cool. We're going to have to do some funky texturing in here to to make this look good, I think. Um, so thinking about maybe changing these. I don't know what to call them. These things, these blocks, or those quarter ones here. What the hell? Oh, don't tell me. 
Oh, you bitch. When did I turn that off? Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> ah, shit. Bollocks. Oh, when I turn that off, why did I turn that off? It's stupid, wasn't it? Damn it. Um Okay, well let's try and do my best to remember what I did. Do it all again. Cause I don't think copy and paste is gonna quite cut it because it's um, it's not symmetrical. It's not, um, if you copy and paste on the same side, it's fine, but with the symmetry mode, uh, it reverses it kind of thing. do not quite work. One, two, three, yep, that's right. Same thing going on down here. These were steel up to there, and then I had a thing like that. That goes to one of these, but but plastic. Switch, bitch. Oh. Um. <laughs> but that's happened in the last two hours. God damn it, Doom! Oh dear. Uh, symmetry's been off since you joined. Damn it. That's why I have you lot here. What use are you lot? If you're not here to tell me I've got, I've got symmetry on, I tell you. You're all fired. <laughs> um. No. No. Wait. The outside one. Oh, yeah. That <laughs> helps if I don't delete the block now, I suppose, does it? Um, and then we had. Yeah, was that it? I think that was it. And then just fill that top bit in. Like that. Because it should now turn on. It won't turn. We need to add some RCSs, I think. Let's get rid of this. Uh, we haven't got a roof yet, but that's fine. We've got some RCSs somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Let's add some of these bad, bad boys in. Right, RCS. Yes. Don't know how many to have. Four. Eighteen thousand. Fine. We've got plenty still to play with for tier three. Spread them out a bit, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Do you spread them out anymore? I don't know. Or are they okay to be sort of concentrated? Usually, used to be, you spread them out best you could you can get more power out of them that way 23,000 yeah okay let's put some fuel in here and see if you actually turn on am I missing anything? I don't think so maybe two tanks and put any of that in but that's fine just want to see if it actually works right hello Mr. Mr. Archer now we need a hover vessel docking pads, please. And we need to put them well out there and there, I'd say. Roughly. 
Now you're not going to move, are you? Because bloody hell, that scared the crap out of me. That did <laughs> really loud. We need some uh, hover vessel extensions. Bring up to tier four. We can shove these anywhere. Let's just pop them there. Oh, they have changed the little extension model on these, look. That's a little bit better. Alright, do you actually work now? Or are you still buggered? Efficiency level 0. 0.4. <laughs> 80,000. 84,000 CPU. Okay, fine. Well, we take some, we'll take some um, RCSs out because this thing's got a bucket load of them. Absolutely crap tons of them. And it also has a crap ton of RCS, uh, not just RCSs, but container extensions everywhere. So, what was that taking us down to? 79,000. We're 95% efficient now. This will do. Should be able to manoeuvre. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We can move. We can move. Right. I just hope I've lined my uh, docking things up to the right location. I think I might need to... Oh, I need to go lower. <laughs> Hang on. It's not docking for some reason, why is that? Something's interfering with the, uh, the connection there. Would that be these wings, maybe? Let's take you off. Take you off. All right. Is it? Would be you, would it? Uh, deco blocks at the back. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yes! Right. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Rise, my friend. She doesn't want to rise. She ain't lifting. She ain't lifted. We have got... Why I'm not understood. Why what am I looking at here? I'm not really sh quite sure. Roll your there's all the rolling your and crap. Right, minimum lift thrust off two point oh six. Lift two two four point seven tons. Now we've got a cargo mass available minus thirty nine. Is that is that for the the forward direction? Is that what that means? Lift. Minus 10 tons. CPU... Uh, oh, well, yeah, that's a good point because we haven't actually put any extenders in yet, have we? That's a very good point. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, tier 3. Let's go with that. Let's put a bunch of you in there. Is it just the two of them I need? They're still saying tier 1. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. 40,000 CPU. We're at 23%. Let's get in and out again. In. Ah, ha, ha, ha! Yes! <laughs> She's a beaut. She is beauty. Look at that. It is a flying forklift. And I haven't put any down thrust on it, so it's stuck. Inertia off. <laughs> there you go. There's my down thrust. Uh, inertia on. Inertia off. Plonk. Beautiful. Well plonked. It's a flying forklift. Total tonnage. Uh, 189 tons. Is that with? Is that including the docked? Cargo mass available, 291 tons. 
Wonderful. That is dry weight, dry weight on the archer as well, though. So, obviously, if she was loaded with ammo and fuel and stuff, that might be a little bit more. But the point is, you're not always going to be lifting an archer. You're going to have hover miners on here and all sorts of stuff. So, I'm just happy she works. That's amazing. Ha! <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought that we could make an SV lifting carrying HVs? Awesome. Oh, uh, sorry, Pogo. I haven't got my um, merch set up with my Twitch or anything yet at the moment because I'm sucking at that. Um, this is, Jen says I should be sleeping, not streaming. Why? It's only 10 o'clock. It's fine. Saturday. Um. <laughs> I'm <all> span. <laughs> God damn it. Someone says symmetry, I think about. That's going to actually. That's pretty cool. Aesthetically cool. Thanks, Ubo, man. That's awesome. Oh, hi. <laughs> That's looking super cool. Contemplate your plate. Welcome along, man. Lose the RCS, though. They do nothing with that thruster layout. Oh, really? I don't know. I'm still figuring this out. Do they do nothing? I didn't actually um, turn it much I and mean, stuff. Yeah, she turns like a slug. Just to be expected. I suppose if I shift I and use the old pilot mode, it's not too bad. This is, with, with all um, inertia switched off. She's staying airborne, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the aerodynamics are a little bit over, over dynamic. <laughs> but yeah, she turns like a slug, but I, I kind of like, I don't care, because well, she's a carrier. <laughs> How's that for a landing? How's that for a landing? That was awesome. Sweet. <clears throat> it's definitely going to make some cooler landings, I think, anyway. They're having these... Um... Right, let's take some of these RCSs out then, because like, I don't think they're adding anything, like you say. Uh, we can add a CPU extension in. Can we do that into our little tubes? Yeah, this would be a good place to add two of them. Let's switch our symmetry back on a second. Our two CPU extenders. Lovely jubbly. Nice. Let's add our Wi Fi uh, over here where the core is on the other side. And now we need to add some downward thrust. We haven't actually put any of that in yet. Uh, we could put a couple of jets there, maybe. What I was originally thinking is just putting some little, some small thrusters up in. And the tops here. Either will work, to be honest. Got a lot of room here. Don't really need. <coughs> Bye bye. <laughs> Dooms in it for the bye bang. Merlin, dude. Uh, thank you for the two months, man. That's awesome. Two months already. I, um um, Cold Gaming for the follow. Thor's Thimble for the follow as well. Nick Mank with the sub over on YouTube. Omni for the sub over on YouTube. Thank you guys. Awesome. Yeah, I might just add like some mediums. Wait, that's. I'm on hover vessels. It's about an SV world. SV world. You got these uh, T2s now for the SVs. They're pretty cool. We don't need an awful lot of down thrust because we're going to be playing with gravity ultimately so um, now it you just see that Oop, easy there we go there's our down trust 
It's going to be a bit toasty next to it there, but we can um, we could do some piping around that. <clears throat> Bye, bang. Yeah, it doesn't really work, does it? Let's just do it into the wall. How we decorate interior inside here? I don't know yet, but we'll figure something out. We've got to finish this roof off anyway. And what I was thinking as well, what we could do in here is add in. Some glass, more glass. And because this slope goes down, we can start taking this down as well. Uh, salty Pug Lord, thank you, sir, for the follow. Very cool, very cool. So I got enough, enough headroom. Can we get through there? No. We can get up there. I mean, we don't need to walk around up there. We just need to be able to get up to the pilot seat, but also get out of it. That's the important thing. And it puts us right behind it, which is good. So maybe that'll work? Yeah, it will actually. Well, only if we're on a level. That becomes a problem if, if things become unlevel. Okay, let's bring this back another another block then and then we'll start taking it down steel again, aren't I? Ah, that's fine. Steel roof. Protects from death from above. be consistent here I think I'm gonna leave it and we'll go with the steel all the way oh it's ugly isn't it <laughs> it's ugly <laughs> Chen thank you for being you Spatch <laughs> Chen you're welcome <laughs> happy to help new shirt idea Spanish please fix for the twitch subs <laughs> yeah Basically, with Twitch, I set it up and I was like, oh, yeah, it's working. I'm never going to touch it again now because <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> it's working. Don't touch it. I kind of want to do something different with the shape here, but I'm just like, well, not really much you can do. Uh. We're totally going to sponge block the um, these round ones here. Where are you? The most majestic block in the game. <laughs> so we might need to bring that back there a bit. How are we going to finish this off? <coughs> yeah, we might be able to add shields. I don't know. I'm wondering about using these inside to give it a bit of a a ribbed effect for your pleasure
bit of a ribbon. <laughs> bit of thrusters. Had a 10 XXL lift thrust SV in 10.5. Maybe good for 20k cargo on a good day. Yeah, I tried to build one of those and then it wouldn't take off. <laughs> Don't say that ever again. <laughs> What's wrong, Stu? What's wrong? <laughs> Did that not sit well with you? <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> uh. Just for you, Stu, as well, that was. Just for you. <laughs> yes, yes, I can be a bastard. Hi, my name's Spange. I am occasionally... Actually, no, most days I'm a bit, I'm just a bastard. What the hell is going on with this? What is this? What is it? Uh... <laughs> Potty mouth. <laughs> There's not a potty involved. That would be bad. I'm just making. I'm just like throwing shapes out and just going. I hope I can make it work. I don't. I don't actually know. I think I can. I think that would be fine. I think it's just going to be the same configuration though. It's just. These, these four. Oh, actually, no. There, there's some differenceness here going on. I might. I don't know why I'm, I'm trying to make it all smooth and stuff. To be honest, it's a fairly industrial ship. I could just block it off and do some funky piping stuff. Why am I doing all this smoothing out nonsense? It's nonsense, I say. It does need to be done. <laughs> For my pleasure. For your pleasure, Jen. Especially your pleasure. <laughs> hey, Spanish, guess how many how many morks fit inside the hangar of my mothership hangar? Ooh, okay, okay, hang on. Let's think about this. Morks. The Mork's a fairly small ship, but, you know, as a footprint goes, she can be quite big. Uh, I'm going to go with six. Yeah, Stu's on the six as well. Forties on... Sorry, Pug Lord, forty. Good man. Fearless. I like it. That's a ballsy guess. <laughs> six, six, six. All right, no, no, no. Malachi's just going, yeah, numbers. <laughs> I expect some numbers. <laughs> Three tops. <laughs> oh, six. Okay, okay. Well, your mothership's not very mother, is it? Three. Three. I can fit three in my pocket. <laughs> Who's the expert here? Me. Pipe! Ping! Hey! Level 9. Do you actually line up properly or have you got a nasty little lip? You have a little bit of a lip, but I'm going to let you off. You just about pass. <clears throat> it's fine. I'm going to tear this down a bit in a second. Um. <clears throat> now I need to find out how many I could fit in my CV carrier. <laughs> how well? How many could you fit in the superlifter? All right, fine. I will. All right. You know, you keep bringing it up. Fine. You want it? Here she is. You don't. You didn't like frames in this stream, did you? You're right. We're just no frames. Wait, wait, wait. wait. She's staying. A, she's staying aloft. What? How are you still in the air, darling? There you go. That's what I thought. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That's that's where you belong now. On the ground. 
you can't hurt anyone physically or emotionally <laughs> I do wonder what is the CPU of this one it's like 80,000 61 million <laughs> yeah <laughs> 61 million CPU. Let's put our four tier four uh, arbitrary extenders in here. Let's just shove them up here. One, two, three, four. Thank you, please. Trashy trash. Update, damn you. Right, 17% CPU punishment. 17% uh, CPU efficiency, sorry. Lift! Lift your bitch. It's not going to, is it? Military sir. Super one, super two. All thrusters engage. Urgh. She lives. One hundred percent thrust, and she lives. <laughs> I mean, she's not going to lift shit, but she lifts herself. Wow. RCS out and question mark. Yeah, quite. Hang on. Let's make sure she doesn't fall back down again. Where is the RCS in this badger? I don't even remember. Uh, I think she's got... Hang on. She's got a bucket load of them out here. Oh, yeah. Just a few. Just a few RCSs. What do you reckon, boys? <laughs> I think I might do it. Come <laughs> on, RCSs. Uh, not many. No, it's fine. Chilling the building is now transformed into rescuing the super lifter. Can we can it be done? Can it be done? Oh, hang on, I'm getting some lag here. Just a few RCS. Not many. Different times, my friend, different times. Some T2s back there as well. Jesus. Frames. The frames are fine. The frames are sitting around about 30 or 30 or so frames. But I'm getting these micro stutters now. Look at that. I don't know if you're seeing that in the stream, but yeah. Why did you go with T1 RCSs on the superlifter? I can't remember. Honestly, I, I don't know. I can't remember. I think I was just like, eh, let's fill the space. Thirty nine million. We're now at thirty five percent efficiency. Uh, and that's just the T1 RCSs, I think. There are. There are. Well, there's T, T2s over here, and I think there's two more in engineering, which I. Well, I'm going to need some RCS. Um, and this thing's obviously got all the guns on it. Orders of weapons. Yeah. And all those engines. So a quick look at NG engineer in a second. Um, yeah, these are T2s there. They're, these white ones are T2s. Uh, I don't think there are any more than that. I think that's the only two. So you've got the big ass thrusters back here. Big ass thrusters. <laughs> and then the warp drive on the bottom level. Don't need these extra generators because I've got the two <clears throat> two massive ones in the pylons. In fact, is there two here or is there. Yeah, there's two back to back. So there's four of these bastards. 33 million. Um, what's taking up? RCST2s are taking up 21 million. 
But he says there's 14 of them. Where is he? Where are the other... Oh, wait, 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 I think I know. Um... Yeah, here they are. <laughs> Cheeky bastards. 15 million! <laughs> Replace blocks, hash, RCS, MS, T2, MD. I don't think I need to now. But thank you, that's uh, useful. Alright, what else is, what's tanking it now? The XL thrusters are 6 million, the large thrusters are 3. The, the two remaining T2 RCSs are 3 million. Thruster M's, constructors, turrets, generators. So the generators aren't actually doing that much. Container extensions. 263,000. As expected. You should have, you should have, you should have min underscore not dash lol. Oh. It's now the same as my Goliath. 15 minutes, 81% efficiency isn't like terrible for a CV this size. I can now reduce. Let's take it down. Um, super lift one, two, military thrust off. We've got power save on. We're holding. We're holding. 81% <laughs> efficiency. Power left, one hour and 50 minutes. Hang on. More fusion cells. Two hours of 16 minutes of hover. The 81% efficiency. Three million will still give you a significant boost to efficiency. Yeah, yeah. What if you turn cruise thrust off? Well, if it turns cruise thrust off, it turns all thrusters off, and then we just fall to the ground. <laughs> Hold. Yes. She holds. Yeah, yeah. We rescued the superlifter. She's alive. She's no longer a base. And I could do some more trimming. I could trim. I could trim. Does she turn? Yeah, she turns. She turns like... Like a ship her size would turn. You know, about half an hour. Just go off and make a coffee while she turns around. Like she should, yeah. Like she did in the Evo server, actually. I'm losing altitude. Am I losing altitude? Yeah, ever so slightly. Inertia's on. That's fine. Yeah, she turns out she should. Okay, graceful. <laughs> Am I nosing down? Let me let me o up o up there. Hard to port. Yeah, man, she feels feels heavy. And she is. She weighs a bloody 76.2 kilotons. Down. Well, bugger me. In a, in the thickest West Country accent I could possibly muster. Well, bugger me. <laughs> she ain't dead. She ain't dead. <laughs> you beautiful bitch all right to be continued um because i think if i if i get rid of the generators one of these generators off each side uh I could probably trim some of the fuel tanks in all honesty i don't need eight constructors four will do the storage i'd like to keep the same um I could take one of those gravity generators out. There doesn't need to be two there. 
There's a shield generator around somewhere. I can't remember where I put it now. I thought I put it up here, but maybe... Was it? No, it was before even shield generators went in. That's a good point. She doesn't have shields. Shields weren't a thing when I built her. I don't think she's got shields. Would that, it was shields under equipment. I'll just search shield. Yeah. She had no shield. That's going to up. So basically, with the shield in and stuff, she's probably going to still be around about the same CPU. Probably. One consola consolation to the superlifter not exactly being CPU compliant is she won't get stolen as a paperweight. <laughs> does thruster arrangement have an effect on turn behavior on CVs too? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, so all my side thrust are these, these ones here. So if I rearranged those to be at the front and the back, then it would give more turn torque. Um, so it's another thing I could do because the, the the lifting power of this ship is just ridiculous. Uh, now that you can dock CVs and stuff onto it, it might not be so ridiculous having these eight XL lifting thrusters. But if I was to remove one and use this space to also house side thrust, here and here, uh, and then I can get extra turn talk. Basically, what I'm saying and what I'm announcing is, ladies and gentlemen, the Superlifter Mark II will be coming soon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the turn is changing Monday on the release. It'll be better. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, now will the SV with the HV dock with it? No, no, no. What you have to do with the SV is uh let me take this order space actually because i know well, i want to show you guys i haven't even used this yet i want to show you guys the um the the hv how the hv's move in space so we're going to i was going to boost there but that is literally as fast as we can go 26 ms we are on cruise actually let's um let's speed this up a bit bomb bomb boom Shabadoom! <laughs> Orbit, here we come. <clears throat> Super lift. Boom. All right. Shub bump. Oh yeah, I've got no inertia on. I was like, why am I slowing now? <laughs> the only thing with the super lifter is the uh, down thrust. Kind of blows. Okay, level with the play field. There we go. Right. Stay there. Okay, so our little hover vessel carrying SV that is hasn't got a roof yet. We'll do soon. I don't know what's better actually. Uh Probably just just hold the space bar. That's 16 meters a second, 18, 20. Okay, space and forward to get us the most speed. There we go, 41 meters a second. So Susan is still waiting on board. She lives. <laughs> Super lift Mark II, awesome. Where did you get the on-screen HUD you're using? Oh, this HUD that you're seeing in the SD, that comes just comes with it, dude. That's just part of Alpha 11. So you got your you got your ship waiting in orbit. Your mother ship's waiting in orbit. Oh, there she is. Oh, what a sight! What a sight! Oop, I stopped too soon. <laughs> and then uh, you want to deliver your HV to your mother ship.
And you get the SV either in or close to. Oh, and that sh shit goes batshit crazy. Oh, no. What's going on here? There we go. So the HV now works in space, but you're limited to just three meters a second, I think. Yeah, you can see the HV is currently working at three meters a second, but it is using the gravity of the superlifter here to st to stay working. How fucking cool is that? Let's be honest. <laughs> so cool. That's cool. And then um, you can dock your HV in your mothership. So they haven't got any. Uh, the archer hasn't got any bottom-mounted docking pads actually. So let's just dock it to the back. I said let's dock it to the back. Dock. Come on, dock. Thank you. Fine. Waiting for that. So you dock your HV in. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> Maybe don't park halfway through a shutter door. That, uh... <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you bastard! I came down really quickly. What a swine. And there you go. Now reload the archer onto the SV. All right, fine, we can do that. I will leave the SV outside the ship this time. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be fun actually. Right, let's uh, let's move this a bit closer. Right. Oh, a bit closer still. It's really difficult to tell. I need some like little light cues or something. Is that in the? There you go. There's the force pick. Right. Uh, right. Could you just sod off? <laughs> need a like a switch somehow or something to just um, keep it open. Right. Here we go. We've got to reverse it on because you know. This thing works as intended. <laughs> it's the camera. I wish the damn camera was just a little bit more intelligent, you know? Can't see where my my if my pads are lining up or not. Yes. Look at that. That f <laughs> Jesus Christ. The shutter doors don't like it. <laughs> Need a rear view camera. Yeah, there we go. Sweet, frickety sweet. <laughs> You were able to do HV moving and docking the last two alphas. You just undocked and turned the hover and used thrust to move. Unlike Alpha 7 where it would just float up forever. See? Loose. But then you had no down thrust if you like made one slight mistake and you made one error and the whole thing would just drift off in a direction you wouldn't be able to correct it because you were, you didn't have operational up or down thrust whereas in this because it's using the artificial gravity of the mothership it stays grounded in a sense to that so there you go guys so the idea of this SV is very much to carry your HVs up to your mothership and the super lifter lives <laughs> ah! Yeah, boy! Alright. So we'll see if we can finish this thing off uh, next stream. 
and then I want to start on um, something. Well, Alpha 11 hits, apparently it hits uh, on Monday. It's on Monday. So um, I, I need to spend a bit of time basically just updating all of my current builds to be compliant with CPU and stuff. Uh, the super lifter is a mission that's going to take a little bit while uh, longer but things like sparky things like the x01 things like the nightshade and stuff like that should be fine we'll we'll finish this sv off next week though because there's still a lot to do we've got all interior to do we've got to even put a roof on this damn thing obviously a lot more fluff and decoration um texturing and stuff as well of course uh, but i'm i'm really happy with that so far that can lift an archer off planet that's pretty good that's pretty good. And there's another one that needs to be updated as well. This bloody monstrosity. Um, it's a crazy tank. Because I need to take all the things that the container extensions need to come out. The shield generator probably needs to come out. All that sort of stuff. So yeah. Um, I'll probably do most off camera. But. Let's do the super lifter and chill in the building, shall we? <laughs> let's do that. Alright. Thank you very much, everybody. Much appreciated you joining me today. I know, um, obviously not usual chilling building day, but uh, yeah, we are obviously able to run a little bit longer on on Saturdays, so I think it, it's going to work better. But uh, we will see how it goes. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I know I did. This is good fun. Rediscovering all this stuff, and um, yeah, look forward to Alpha Eleven coming out now. Actually, I think it's going to introduce a lot more unique builds like this sort of thing um we'll see have a wonderful rest of your weekend everybody thank you very much for joining me again thank you for all the follows the subs um everything in between the bits fluff dude operator hoot as well for 17 months man that's awesome um yeah great stuff guys thank you very much hopefully i'll see you during the week on youtube otherwise next saturday for more chill in the building until then, take care. Bye. I can't even find the buttons. Where's the buttons? There it is. Buttons. Bye. <laughs>